This is Christopher Lewis from the DailyForex.com trading desk. Take a look at the upcoming of March 29th Forex session. In front of you is the Australian dollar US dollar pair. And the reason I'm doing a video on this one for this particular session is it is at such an interesting level. Going back a ways, you can see that at one point in time, we had a bit of an ascending triangle that the pair had broken out of. I have drawn a fib from the bottom, from the absolute bottom, to the highs once we had broken out of this. You can see that we did have a bit of a double top at about 108, but as is typical with uh, triangles and breakouts and support resistance of technical analysis in general, normally you will have a breakout and a pullback and a retest of the area. And that's basically what we've been doing over the last couple of sessions. We measured the height of the triangle, it actually suggested a move up to 112. And because of that, I'm still fairly bullish in this pair. Once you throw the fib up, you also have the 38.2 right at a large round handle at 104, right at the breakout. So there's a lot of things kind of coming together in one spot. The blue line is the 200 day moving average. And while I myself am not a uh, big moving average trader. I know that a lot of trend traders are. So a lot of big money, slow money, uh, will be attempting to come in at this point in time. Currently, and I'm filming this just shortly after the change of the day, we are down just a little bit, but I see this as a thick zone. In fact, as you can see, when it pierced last time, it bounced from this level. So the real question is, is does it hold? And that is what makes this pair so interesting right now, because we have a very, very easy way to look at this. If we get another bounce, perhaps we eventually run, and if we do, then there's really no reason to think that we won't try 106, 108 or so, 108.50 maybe, and then 110, of course, because 110 is a nice large round number, and then eventually our 112. This is a very risk sensitive pair so it could get whipsawed quite a bit um, but currently we are hovering around that all important moving average so that does interest me once we break below 10250 or so which is basically at the 50% retrace i would be very leery about this this market in general right now though i'm looking to find some type of supportive action in which to buy from either a hammer or perhaps an engulfing bullish candle at the close of business. I can be patient with this because if I do take this trade and I want to aim for 112, well that's an 800 pip gain. So if I have to let it close at the end of the day, and let's just say it takes me 30, 40 pips, uh, you know, that I they lose in the trade, that isn't that much when you look at the big scheme of things. Besides, there's nothing to say that the move to 112 would be the absolute end either. That's just the target based upon the projection of the triangle. Of course, if we're wrong and we don't get any trade and we break down below the 50% retrace, more than likely there will be something out in the market, something in the news that you will be aware of that is very risk off. Currently, I am watching this pair and signs of support are what I want to see because truthfully, I prefer to go long as the swap is positive anyways.